19, 1865, Texas slaves were made aware of the Emancipation Proclamation, which had actually been signed more than two years before. Now, June 19th is part of history now recognized in the state as the end of slavery in the Confederate South. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez was at Stevenson Park tonight for the Juneteenth, celebrating that abolishment announcement. I'm out here today to celebrate the one and big dream that all African Americans had when they were slaves. A day celebrating historic news that arrived late to the Confederate state of Texas in 1865. Slaves didn't know they were free. They didn't find out till June 19th, but they were already free. They didn't know, they didn't know it. Modern day Abilinians taking to Stevenson Park to celebrate the announcement that finally set Texan slaves free. It's important to me because that's when our freedom was. That's when we got freedom. Local organizers bringing the community together to enjoy good music, good food, and good friends. But more importantly, to reflect on a good day in history. I wasn't born a slave, but I came from slaves. Well, we want our children to know where they come from. I want to know where I came from. Uh, my son wants to know where he came from. And that's why we celebrate and keep it alive, because we don't want them to forget that. And remind others to keep living life freely. We're free. We are free. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. All right, thank you, Mercedes, for that report tonight. It was put on by Abilene residents, but the Black Chamber of Commerce will be hosting another Juneteenth celebration at the Abilene Convention Center later this month.